thought I was playing. Uh, I need boost. 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 Ain't no ties. Cut them loose. Yeah. Ain't no ties. Cut them loose. I need boost. 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 Hi, my name is Chi. And my name is Edward. And you're watching Psychostatics. So today we're going to explain to you guys what bulking and cutting is. We've had this requested a lot of times and a lot of people have been commenting on our videos with um, some skeptical, skeptical, ugh, requested a lot of times and we've seen a lot of comments on our videos, some of them skeptical and people are wondering, wait a minute, like you guys are preaching all of this fitness stuff, right? But all you guys are doing is gaining weight. Look, like cheese transformation is good, but it's all based on the genetics. She's just gained weight and that's why she looks like that. I just so ate today, more food, yeah, and it just went it. all in the right places somehow, proportionate and all. So I think we need to give you guys a lowdown on what cutting and bulking is and you'll understand how weight works. So the first thing we're going to talk to you guys about is body composition. So she give them some insight. So body composition is basically just how much muscle fat and water is in your body so yes yeah, the proportion of all of these things so um for instance i'm five foot eight i am 13 stones right which is about 180 pounds or 180 to 183 pounds now um if you find someone who's my height similar weight to me but doesn't train they're most likely obese yeah <laughs> so the whole point is body composition is the proportion of muscle and fat you have on your frame and someone who doesn't train is the same weight as you would look completely different if you do train so my dad is a similar height and weight to me but we look completely different so what you have to understand is that your body composition is really important in understanding how you look so when you bulk let's start with bulking what you aim to do is build muscle. So bulking is not the same as just um, putting on weight. It's not the same as weight gain because when people normally talk about putting on weight, most people are people that don't train. So muscle normally stays consistent in people, right? Because they don't train. So the muscle doesn't increase. When they put on 10 pounds, that's 10 pounds of pure fat. Make sense? But if you're training, some of that weight you're putting on is gonna be muscle and a small proportion of that will be fat. So that's bulking. So bulking is a term that's used in the fitness industry, primarily with like bodybuilders. And that's where people are trying to gain as much muscle as possible with a slight excess being fat, right? So Chi, explain to people a quick definition of what cutting is, and then I'll give them a little bit more detail. So cutting is really about just trying to reduce or just get rid of the fat in your body, only the fat. Mm. And in this, at this stage, you're trying to maintain your physique's muscle, and just only get rid of the fat. So it takes a much longer time to do so. It's not the same as just losing weight where you just lose everything. Yeah, exactly. So let's go back into bulking now. So let's understand what you're trying to do with bulking. So basically when you bulk, you have more calories than you need. You, you have a caloric surplus. So you have your maintenance calories. Your maintenance calories is a sum of your BMR, which is a basal metabolic rate and an activity factor. So it's multiplied by an activity factor of a certain amount based on how active you are and that will give you your maintenance calories. Now, if you have any calories more than this, you're having more calories than you need, right? And that's what you need if you're trying to build muscle because to build muscle effectively, you need to be in a caloric surplus, right? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to have only a small excess. It depends on what type of bulk you're doing. So you have some people in the body um, building industry that do dirty bulks where they're trying to gain tons of fat so they get really fat but they gain some muscle and then after you've got all of this like lean muscle in your frame you have to reduce the fat and then you can see the results of what you built right but what we do at Zygostatics is what we call lean bulking we're not trying to get like fat just to lose it all again we find it kind of futile so we just have a little bit or a small caloric surplus and over time obviously this means that we'll put on more fat more muscle comes as well and then what we do later on is we cut and when we cut we lose most of the fat, we don't obviously super shred, but like lose most of the fat and um, retain the muscle we've built. So in that process of time, you might have built, for instance, six pounds of muscle over maybe the course of a year, and you might have gained another four or five pounds of fat. So let's just say you've gained 11 pounds. If you lose the four or five pounds, sorry, that of fat you gained, 
you're six pounds heavier in the same um, condition you were before you bulked, right? And that affects how you look. So at Zygostatics, that's what we do. So we don't gain that much weight in a small period of time. We bulk and then we slowly cut, right? And that's the way you need to do your, your weight gains. So she explained to these guys what's gonna happen if they just eat food, try to gain weight, what, like all of these people are saying online. If you just eat food, I mean, you'll just continue having the same problems I'm sure that mm. you're having now, if you are trying to gain weight already. Yeah. It'll go wherever it wants to go and that's the problem. <laughs> you're gonna end up with the cellulite that comes with um, weight gain. You're gonna end up with a little pouch, love handles. And it's stretch marks. It's all gonna come if you try and gain weight. So um, now about cutting, the last bit of advice I'll give you guys is, I've seen some people who've gained muscle, for instance, and fat over a period of time, they wanna do a cut, but now they're trying to lose 25 pounds in three weeks. Now, with if you look at research papers, I'm gonna put one up here, it's based on natural bodybuilding. So the paper isn't for like females, it's not that applicable, but the principles are still quite sound, right? If you're losing more than 1% of your body weight in a week, right? 1% of your body weight in a week, you're gonna be losing muscle plus fat, yeah? Now, you don't bulk over a whole space of a year to gain six pounds, because muscle growth is so slow, just to lose the muscle and fat again when you cut so that you end up in the same position as when you started, a very skinny version of you. You want to conserve the muscle you gain, right? So you have to respect these guidelines. So. If I wanted to lose weight, 1% of my body weight is approximately 1.8 pounds, right? So I can lose a maximum of about two pounds a week without losing too much muscle. Any faster, I'm losing the muscle as well. So you're not gonna end up seeing your gradients get better. You're not gonna see, for instance, your shoulder width to waist ratio increasing or your waist to hip ratio in increasing. You're just gonna end up getting smaller, a smaller version of yourself, right? And I don't think that's what everyone wants. Yeah. So what everyone has to do is you have to be patient. Like if you're trying to lose 25 pounds, if you obviously don't have muscle to begin with, it's okay to do that because then you don't really have any muscle to conserve in the first place. But you have to be watching. What do they have to do consistently to and make sure they get the muscle in the bulking phase? You have to train. Yep, train consistently, <laughs> yeah, properly. You've got to have a good diet. You've got to do everything right. So if we say to you guys, like, train once or twice a week, don't be training, like, twice a day for seven days and say you're going to do this for, like, maybe two months or whatever. If you're training every day, you don't have the necessary rest you need to, to gain muscle. You've got to follow these scientific principles, like, because I know a lot of you guys don't want to listen to this, but how many of you guys can say for yourself, I've been doing what I've been doing for six months and um, I've gained a lot of muscle. I look much better. Most of you guys are just fluctuating, right? And in Zygostatics, we're about exponential growth, right? And if you're fluctuating between growth and then you're obviously losing muscle, losing muscle, you're basically staying the same. So you're just wasting a lot of energy and time. Yep. So I don't think there's much to add. I think this is no. what we can say about bulking and cutting, guys. Yes, so, guys, I just hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, mm. this is a lot of information to take in. Um, mm. I hope you comment, like, and subscribe. Take care, guys.